and dad uh, tournament and there's grandma Sadani Gomali waving to everyone um at the moment um so we are coming to you and commentating on the three check chess today um which is um yeah which is which is quite exciting so uh, it's one of the variants we've got and today is a two minute arena and um danny i think if you want to bring up the tournament for us we can take a look at some of the games that sure. yeah, yeah. it's an arena tournament so um the way this works is that they've got an hour and they're just going to play as many games as they can with two minutes on the clock yeah Rules pretty simple the first person to check the other person three times wins a game it doesn't matter wow. whether they're winning on material or not and quite often you sacrifice for it it's just three check wins it's that simple normal rule, legal rules of chess not like atomic when we got very confused last time <laughs> but um, yeah. three check chess should be <laughs> much simpler um we've got so can you win can you win can you win normally then can you win like like can you win by normal fashion? I don't or, think you can win by checkmate. I think you actually have to get three checks. So if checkmate is your first check, you don't yeah. win. <laughs> really? No. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, I, I mean, I mean, the thing is, what's but the question is, what's the actual skill that's involved? Oh, this guy wants to go E five check. Yeah, yeah, I get you. So he's. he's it's just. It's yeah. strategic. Right, so looking at this game, this is like, like, a, like a king and pawn ending. Oh, and so, uh, yeah, schizophrenia is like... Yeah, so of course, checkmate is also a way to win. I'm obviously joking by that. But, um, like, so you can win by checkmate or you can win by check checking. Yeah. So schizophrenia looks like a bit of a legend at this game. He's already, what, the standings. Isn't he already leading the tournament by quite a way and on fire? Yeah, he's uh, he's just escaped from the mental mental health institute. <laughs> and, um, so, but he's, he's obviously doing well. Um, so it just shows you. Yeah, just yeah. Crazy. Let's yeah. have a look at some of his games. Let's have a let's let's have a look at how he does it. How does this genius do it? You also know that he's berserking each game as well. So he's berserked every game. So he's got one minute on his clock. Oh so he's black God, now. Good. Do you get? Does he get increment? No, no increment. He's just going for one minute. Oh my god! This guy not... is, bit, is is an even bigger legend than that uh, random Canadian kid who won the atomic. <laughs> Don't know yet. If, if he gets if he gets the exact same like you know perfect score, but that kid did get a perfect score. So I don't think I, I'm going to go out and live here and say he's not going to make perfect score. But ninety five is huge. Why didn't he stop ninety five? Because ninety five is, is so. First of all, check bishop check. Then ninety five coming. That's a second check. And then you have got queen f two. Oh, and he blocked it, so he's got another check. That's really okay. Let's go back. Let's why why did he? Why did he resign? Oh, because he went bishop b four check, and then bishop. Ah, oh, right. So this is the end of the game. Incredible. Right, right. Analysis board and show how badly that was played because that was terrible play by White. That yeah. was like yeah. that someone shocking. Never Three check chess. I, I hope for their sake that they give up chess forever. Oh, come on. Three check chess. No, I'm, so, okay, I'm let's go to I'm kidding. so you reckon Bishop so, E3 was a bad move, right? Oh, terrible move. Bishop D2 or C3 would have been much better. C3 is yeah. better, but you've already got knight E5 coming. Um, but I don't because Bishop. I don't know why Bishop B4 wasn't played the previous move. But yeah, like I guess he was defending F7. But I mean, Bishop B4 check. You have to then play King D1 or something. But Bishop you D2, can't... if I go Bishop D2, let's say I went uh, Knight D4, Knight D4, you're in big trouble because I've got Knight C2, Bishop C5, Queen F2 stuff coming in, Knight G4. Yeah, that's why I'm saying C3 is a better move because it defends both those moves, but you've got Knight E5 as well. Knight E5 and also maybe Knight G4 and then Knight takes F2 and then I've already got two checks in and then yeah, I've got but Bishop that's... D3. That's why the engine thinks it's already 3.5 for black. Yeah, think... it's already... Uh, Black's just got two... It, uh, to be honest, it's very similar to atomic chess. It's if you, it's, and the same rules apply to normal chess. If you get very active... Exactly. The more you're pieces opposing you play, big trouble, you know? Yeah. But this is really uh, this is really bad play. Because you went bishop e3, you, you allow the first check, and then he blocks the second check. And a block just means a second check. Yeah, yeah. Block a check. Like you actually have to like You're move your king. Yeah. 
absolutely right. right. <laughs> so they, you know, I'm a bit pissed tonight. I'm that, sure. That's a bit inappropriate, Danny. <laughs> Hope, hopefully, you're going to be okay. To my good friend John Nolan, who sadly passed away oh, no, a few, few days. Bad. Okay, so this game very sad. Yeah, very sad. So this game, schizophrenia is in a bit of trouble, no? Um, yeah, but I guess it doesn't matter. He's got like so. Yeah, but he obviously got to stop. Yeah, not. Um, why don't you how go many checks C6? have they got? Why don't Why don't you go Bishop C six? You're threatening a check. Oh, well, Rook G eight is also good. I think Black. I think White's in trouble here. I'm going to go Rook no, G eight. Takes... Rook takes G five. Pawn takes Knight F three. Or G six. Okay. Oh, wow, he's got to check in himself. Wow, that was already. That's, that's it. Already... So he's got. Wow. It doesn't tell you how many checks have each got, does it? So if does I it tell you how many checks have got? Yeah, sorry about this internet. It's I, slow. Oh, so he's already got loads of checks in because he had got his 96 check in. Right, right. Yeah. And That's why it doesn't tell you. Bishop B7, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So this guy is he's a bit of a sh isn't he? Yeah, he is. I, mean, I don't understand why it doesn't tell you how many checks they've got in already, because it would be much better if everybody you could tell you either side who's got three checks. Um, yeah, so there you go. There's the rules. Yeah, let's go. Right. Yeah. Let's find some other game, because we just look, it seem to be looking at, it's almost like this guy's doing a simul. You know? <laughs> let's always quick. Oh, no, hang on. This is the big clash. This is Queen Eaton Dragon. Prenia. Yeah, these are, I love that name, by the way, Queen Eating Dragon. It's quite a cool name. I but, bet you, um, I bet. It how many... I know a few uh, guys who wouldn't be mind, wouldn't mind being eaten, being, being eaten by, by a queen, shall we say. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Anyway. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so I, I'm on the booze. I'm on the booze. Forgive but me. Nine, forgive me. check is going to be considered in Queen H2. So that's two checks. If they already had one, that would and be... And not every in Queen G2. Not every in Queen G2 before Smate Black already had a check. He obviously hasn't. Yeah, but he obviously hasn't got one checking, so he can't afford to sacrifice... He hasn't already got one check. F4, F4, yeah. F4. And then... No idea gonna, what play here. How are you going to get one check without losing pieces here? You can't. You can't. I'm going to go H5, H4. Bishop, Bishop, I'm just going to... Uh, you just play normal chess. Well, maybe you know? get four and Bishop takes last G2, G2, and then you go knight e3 check. That's what he would have done. I mean, had a double check. My money's on Queen Eating Dragon. He's big, big, big advantage on the clock. Uh, Tony free. Oh, no. I uh, yeah, see, very, very strong. No, I reckon Queen Eating Dragon will win this. Do you want to? Maybe we should have a bet. All right, I'm going to bet the schizophrenia's still got this, even with 20 seconds left. I don't know the current check situation, though, but I'm still going to vote for schizophrenia. I just... Yeah, I'm going to go for Queen Eating Dragon. Schizophrenia's going to lose on time. This is on the scan. C3. C3. No, C3, you mug. Yeah, okay. So, oh God, I, don't, I don't see what's going to happen there. So, he's going to take on G2. Knight takes E3. Oh, no. Then, oh, he swapped with the Queens. He's, he's going to lose now. Oh, he's gonna! I thought he's gonna take on G two check, and then he could have got. It's not that clear. It's not that clear. There's, there's two, two checks. Two checks are coming now, but you got checks coming here. There's two checks. He's not gonna get the last one unless he's already got one. Oh, checks! No, he hasn't got one. See, he's, he's no, he hasn't got any. He's got a none now. He's he's blundered. This is all about the topic on the. I think schizophrenia is quicker. But it's, it's gonna blunder. It's gonna oh, one check. He's gonna blunder. Oh, it's three he's checks. Blundered. Oh, come on! I won. <laughs> <laughs> no schizophrenia wow so Quinny and dragon is the new he's actually got two out of two against him should have seen that before that yeah, yeah. Close, that time though went down to one second let's have a look at nightly he's, he's, got... he's our tournament organizer yeah, I, let's I, have I, I, I think i think this no hang on let me go let me go let's have a look because it's bashan as well we had those before we'll have a bet on each game and see who we think is going to win yeah, we'll do a bet. Do making money. I didn't say I was betting so, money. I'm just betting. We're going to competition. competition. Okay. <laughs> Have we had it? We've had some checks already in this game. We've had a Bishop Adam check. That's the only check we've had. 
Okay. I think. You should tell you, shouldn't it? Don't you think it should tell you at the bottom? Like, it how should you tell you, you're right. It should, yeah, then but you... they'd have to configure the software. They'd have to configure the software to tell you like how many checks you've had. Configure the software the, the to know that it loses. So it, yeah. The, so, the, so here we go. Um, so blacks one. My check. money's on on, but even though whites had one check already, my money's on black in this position well, because. Well, I don't know. Neither of those knights can check right now. No, but I think having the material advantage just gives you a bit more, a bit more leeway, right? Knight H two might be quite a good idea to just get one check in, but uh, and then yeah, yeah, and yeah. then take on G three as well because he stopped Knight H two. Even though if you went Knight H two, you could even go Queen H four and then Rook takes G one and stuff like that, right? Yeah, exactly. Queen A one is coming. Queen A yeah. one is. Like, I was thinking, and then Queen A one is just the end of the game, basically, because you're going to get so many checks in. You would have been if you just spotted it exactly. Guess the thing, Queen A one. Now Queen A1. Queen A1, Knight G3 and Queen A1, mate. Queen A1 is just winning on the spot. <laughs> yeah. He, he it, hasn't seen it. He hasn't seen Queen A1. It's oh, winning. My God. Oh, oh, my God. This is Etan. He's going to win like, anyway. He's going to win anyway. It is. But it's just winning on the spot. Oh, my Queen God. Queen B2, he'll spot that. No. What? <laughs> no, he's busted. It's, 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 it's so nice win. It's a false win. It's a false win. Queen B2, yeah, yeah. There's nothing yeah, to be doing that. Yeah, yeah. Forced, mate. <laughs> I guess I'm getting the hang of this already. I'm getting the hang of this already. It's just activity, isn't it? Activity, good peace place, yeah. safety, the absolute basics about normal chess. Get really eccentric. You know, I wasn't sure about I wasn't sure about atomic chess, but I know that I'd probably be world championship level at three check <laughs> chess. Because that's my strategy anyway, when I play normal chess, is just to check my opponent. Pat yeah, that's 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 the only strategy I understand. It's like <laughs> let's go for check. I get terrible hate for Right, let's have a look oh, at no. schizophrenia versus yeah. Bashod. I mean, we just we're watching that a minute ago. Okay. So, uh, uh, oh, well, schizophrenia's like... bounced back. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty pretty amazing. So only Queen Eating Dragon has beaten him. Yeah, but Queen Eating Dragon's on a roll. Cause, so that's the thing. If you, if you, as soon as you lose a game, you lose a lot of points. So you're basically, you know, you only he's get so many points for winning. But he's also berserking every game. He's, he's berserking. Queen, Queen, Queen Eating Dragon is not berserking. No, he's not exactly. playing by the rules. <laughs> you're not playing by the rules, <laughs> Queen Eating Dragon. You've been, he's you've, you've been. For considering Queen Eating Dragon is actually a woman. Do you think Queen Eating Dragon is a woman or a man? I reckon it's a man. I think so as well. I, think it's, I, think, it's a, I think it's a 50 year old truck driver from, from Hull. <laughs> I don't think it's a queen eating a dragon. I think it's a dragon who eats queens. Or it could be It could be like transsexual. It could be like a, like a queen, you know, like one of these nightclub queens, you know, like in that film Hairspray or something like that. Right? No, but I don't it's a queen who's eating a dragon. I think it's a dragon who eats queens. Yeah, yeah. Do you want it? Come on, man. It's so obvious. End of the game. <laughs> yeah, but is that the second <laughs> second uh, check? No, it's only the second check. It's only the second oh, it's check. Yeah. Tasty. You've got you've got enough. You got yeah. You can't be saying hey. They, oh, yeah, well, it's big favourite. That's really by force now. Because no, he's, he's done it. Now. He's done it. He went. He went. G one. He's done it. Yeah, but the thing is, you're winning by force because you're just going to get a lot of chips in. There's nothing the black can do. Oh, yeah, Rookie 8 wins more. Yeah, now, oh, and Bishop G7. Or, you, what, yeah, exactly. But he, Queen G7, yeah, it's the end of the game. Yeah. He didn't need to do that. He could have gone Queen C7 before doing that. Because Rook G1 yeah. followed by... Yeah, Rook G1 um, was... Yeah. The Queen E drag is romping now. And schizophrenia just lost the game. Yeah. So right, let's check out Knight of Spring. He's also playing Knight Leap again. So let's have a look at this. Yeah, one. Knight Knight of Spring is a good player. Spring is a good player. We've seen yeah, Knight of Spring. Good. We saw that Spring in our tournament. Yeah. Um. So let's see what's going on. No check so far. We've seen it from the beginning. It's the the Caro can't be a good opening. I feel because it's like you know. Look at this yeah. Bishop Five now. Like that's one check. Oh, not quite actually. I guess you go Knight of Three Knight. D5, sorry. So I, I, I guess the Sicilian, the Sicilian, like with D6, would just be a terrible move because yes, then they go Bishop B5 check. It was already a normal move anyway. Scandinavian probably loses on the spot. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Maybe Bishop C5 check. Bishop C6, and then you go Queen F3, threatening Queen F7, mate. It's, it's just terrible. So, um, yeah, it's just... <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this one, no checks yet, surprisingly. I would have thought that... Um, this is really professional play. Really professional. Wow, Bishop, that's allowed. Bishop A6. Yeah, Bishop A6. Oh, that's terrible. You allowed that check for three. Bishop A6. I would go no. I would go for here at some point. Knight a five is a good move because knight c four, knight a three becomes possible. You well, just want to get your piece. Sorry. Knight f six now. Fighting a check already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knight six is a good move. Yeah. Knight yeah, knight six force forces a check. It forces yeah. a check. Well, not quite. To get not the... quite. No. <laughs> not quite. But no. Rook, yeah. Oh no. Don't know rook a three yet. But I feel like you're going to play like knight e five and yeah, shift the other pieces over. As long as he doesn't... Might be four, might be four. If rook, if rook c3, I'll go queen a5. But, uh, I've got terrible. Oh, queen no, c2. I... Queen c2 is a free check. What? Why didn't you play queen yeah, c2? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Queen c2 is better, yeah. I, I didn't want to lose the material. But it's not that much for a whole... Yeah, but, yeah true. All it takes is a couple of checks and then you lost the game instantly. No, he's threatening mate. He's threatening queen... Yeah, he's why it's busted. Because he's threatening queen c1, there's nothing you can do. It's force force he's got queen. One check. He said, oh, he has got one check. Oh, no. See what I mean? Yeah, queen c1 is a force win. If a3, I go queen c1, queen c4, you, you're dead. No, but it's just winning anyway. Because so, Oh, my God. Because the problem is, as I say, yeah. when you get one check, you're always in on the yeah. He's resigned. Yeah, yeah. Back burner. Then that's why I was saying that you should have played Queen C two because he just he always then he just need one check and that's it. Queen doubling up the pieces. Oh yeah, yeah. Then then you just need one check on the C yeah. file. Doesn't even matter if you lose your rook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. So it's like you just it. it I think like getting but he, one he won check. anyway. So it was still it was still right. So Queen eating dragon is just a machine. It's like Woo! this guy's good. Um. I it's, think it's, it could be a girl. Should we ask? Should we, should we chat to them? Maybe I'll have a run. It says Queen Eating Dragon. Not sure how I'm 100% of five lucky games, I guess. No way. You're not five lucky games. That was a very, very good play. I feel like they're being very um, modest. Right. I think, I think it might this be checked is, um, already in this. Check, yeah. It's already one check coming. Already. It's a 96. You say, oh, you've got to give a check. Um, come on, you've got to give a check. check there. Yeah, absolutely. Only a piece less than a check. If it's three oh, check checks, all your pieces is worth less than a check, right? 100%. I'd, no, not all of them, but I'd say like, um, I would say almost a book. Mm. Because if you think yeah, about yeah. a piece, the check. Because as you can see, it's very easy to get two checks in quick succession. It's not easy to get three of them. But then I it's think, just like, I think Queen Eating Dragon played white right there would definitely have got ninety six check. So now you can go you can you can play I would play knight takes e four and bishop c four. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Or even bishop d three, bishop d three and then just come in down in down the e four. Bishop takes yeah. c four. Okay, so bishop, bishop takes c four is huge here. Yeah, now yeah. bishop exactly, exactly. See we Black is busted. Black is busted because if D takes, Rook takes e four wins on the spot. I know, we're good at this now. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> so it's just... how good we've become right? so quickly. <laughs> See, Which is balance. I mean, knight takes e4 is good here. Yeah, knight e4 is just busted. You have to castle. You already move his castles. Queen no, no, side. Knight e4. You got to castle. Queen side. G3. That's the problem. Book G3. You got to be careful now. Look, and queen, he's got to be. I would go queen G3. Queen G3. Knight, knight e5 first. But then bishop d7 check. Bishop F7 oh, check, sorry. You can go Bishop E6 now. It's two checks. What's he doing? Oh, is it? It's only, it's only, one. It's uh, only one check. Okay, so Queen E3 is winning now because you can play You can play Bishop C5 in a minute if he's not careful, followed by Rook D1. If he's not careful, he moves the yeah, Bishop. Yeah, but you have to go D, you've got D6, C5, so it's not so clear. No, no, but if he, if he, if he take, moves the Bishop, you've got Queen G3 wins. Bishop F4 here wins the Queen, right? Does that really help? Yeah, it will help, surely. Yeah, exactly. That yeah. was that's a bit weird. <laughs> now you're gonna get a check if he's not careful. He's gonna go king a eight. This is now ninety four. I might go ninety four here, but it's, you're gonna get nowhere to checks. Yeah, okay. I think white's winning now. But this is this is weird. This is queen eating dragon as black. 
Very strange. Yeah, Queen Eating Dragon's going to lose this game for certain. Very yeah. strange. Well, I think we should go over this in analysis because I'm, I'm very confused by some of these moves. I feel like yeah, yeah. some interesting play here. Unless suddenly Rook G3 is going to win, but it's not because you can't go Bishop E3. If you tempted to yeah. move I would have done that. You need to. You could have needed the bishop to do the last check. Why take the rook? Yeah, but I, I, I think I think what was uh, black was in trouble. Anyway. Quick analysis. Would have looked at that game. Would have a look at that game. Because and put stockfish. Okay. Because I'm curious. I just feel like you need the pieces there for that. I think black was doing well at one point. Yeah. Let's go okay. back to the start. Yeah. So <laughs> this plus two. <laughs> I think like white's better anyway in general. Um, white must have a huge advantage. I think that like, d five is probably a terrible move. No, the knight knight f six is a horrendous move. Right? I, mean, yeah, I don't understand that either. How's that? Okay. And you've got a spare check to take, go whenever you want. I don't understand. Oh wow! Look, it doesn't think so. But it thinks knight five six, and then you're you're bound to get more checks in. Yeah, and, I, and it shows... So you have to go 95, just open the position up even more. But it actually... The so clear, though, no, like... Oh, my God, 10.3. But it's also... Yeah, that's... When you go 95, you're opening up the position even more. And then when you get 96, you've, you've got, already got a check in. Bishop 5, frankly, two checks. Yeah, exactly. You get two checks in. So it's, all, it's, it's pretty much almost full to mate after that. I don't think 95, I don't think you can even take it. Because of Bishop no, ninety six and Bishop H five. Yeah, exactly. Queen H five. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? It's just open lines. It's just it. Just two pieces on the most open lines, and you know that's it. And like I say, Black is doing okay here. Black was doing okay for a you know move. How I just, you know how I would just, I would describe this type of chess, Sabrina? I would say it's it's not very strategical or deep. It's very very kind of it's kind of fun, you know. Bang. It's kind it of, is. yeah, you have to be sharp. You a have to be sharp, right? But that's why I look at, like a lot of areas because it doesn't involve the theory. So therefore, I'm I'm yeah. okay because I'm late. I'm not bother to learn theory. So I quite like it. So I'm on equal yeah. playing. And it's tactical. And it's fun quick, and it's quick. So you can play a lot more games and get over and done with and just like, you know, it's quite fun to just do it. It's like, it's a little bit different. So I, I do like these, these, these variants for sure. I like I like this one. I think I I think this one's easier than Atomic either. Like, what about that Debbie Harry song? Sorry, Blondie song. Atomic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So already, well, yeah, I think White well, is just winning at this point. So maybe yeah, we go back to, to the tournament. Yeah, yeah, it's game over. Yes. Yeah, so, so you just see what's going on because this is getting quite exciting. About half an hour left. Compared to the other one, I mean, the other one was about two hours or something. Yeah, this one's good, but but like at least now look how close it. Schizophrenia has now jumped back in the lead. See from Berserk. Yeah, yeah. He's... That's what I'm saying. As soon as you as soon as you lose your run, because Queen Drag, Queen Drag yeah. lost the game, she's lost yeah. her like advantage basically, and now, now Schizophrenia is back in the back in the driving seat. He's going to win. Yeah, I think it? his name's on. the... <laughs> No, this, this game is very close. Uh, so, um, oh wow, that's a rookie eating five. Dragon. Queen eating dragon is fourteen years old. No. Yeah. Who who is it? Is it? Is it... I, I don't actually know, um, but they're fourteen. They're English. How do you know they're fourteen? I just clicked on their profile and it says, um, and it says, hello, I'm 14 years old and I play too much chess. <laughs> That's what it says. Maybe it's a trap. Maybe it's, sort of, maybe it's one of these, you know, do dodgy accounts. Maybe it's a trap. A trap no. Thing. Oh, the ECF is 161. So you probably can determine that. There's probably not only 14 year olds have got a rating of 161 at ECF rating. You'd be surprised, actually. There's a lot of them about. There's so many good juniors. Like, you'd be surprised. Oh, that? But you're right. You're right. It won't be like more than, say, 20. Not, that, not a 14. I think there's no, a no, there there won't, There'll be a few, but there, there won't be more than, say, 20 at more than oh, 160 at that grade. Yeah, so there's loads of. I feel like there's not that many because if you take like say your 
your age group, there were tons of good juniors. Like that's how I'm comparing it to. Like back in your day when you were playing yeah. at that, that age, they were like, look how many of your you guys around the same age are all IMs or GMs. Well, I never played any junior chess. I mean, okay. there were people like Matthew Turner and Jonathan Parker. They were like way better than me when I was young. Okay, we'll take those guys and take Simon Williams and the Perts, like you know, Adam Hunt, like all those yeah. guys. All around, you're all around the same age, and you're all like juniors growing up and stuff. So yeah, all, we, we were kind of in a golden era. I think now, like, I think we haven't really. And then would again, you say, would, would you say that England hasn't really had any good players for years? I like, come through like I agree with that. And I, I, agree. I think it's something to do with the coaching, to be honest. It's I, don't not- think, I, I don't think it's just the coaching. I think it's that other countries are more motivated. And I think it's like a lack of opportunity. There's not as many big tournaments. I, and, I know, think it's a combination of that. I think you're right. I think it's partly the coaching setup isn't very good in this country. Yeah. You know, I was watching this documentary the other day, and it was like about these Russian uh, rhythmic dancers, right? And obviously, I'm like watching this intently, as you can imagine, right? <laughs> but, but, yeah, but they got like these coaches, and they're basically saying, "Look, you are so rubbish. You are terrible. You were you were awful today. You were bad, so bad, so bad at everything. You was all bad." And I'm like, "Mate, mate, mate King Sam, just watching this as well. So he's got check, check, and coming. It's, it's going to be which, made. which one? Which game is this? Yeah, the game on the board. Oh, right. Nugster versus schizophrenia. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, yeah he's, he's one, I think, already. But, um, but yeah, so I was having a distract. I was distracted by the game. It's, it's done already. Because Sorry. It's been- Sorry, yeah, yeah. But all yeah. I was saying was basically we don't have this perfectionist mindset in this country yeah. and we just we, we we don't also- too much. We, we- Maybe. Sorry, but yeah. I also think that chess isn't Jess isn't seen as high, high, high as highly valued in other, as, as in other countries as well. So, yeah, and also, also I think if you're if you're good at, if you're good at chess, you're generally you're intelligent enough to get a much better job, making much better money yeah. doing you know other things. So there's there's not the dream motivation to be a professional chess player like there yeah. possibly is in other countries. Yeah. Lots of our talented juniors are off and very very good jobs. Like if you look at all the talented juniors who work. Yeah. The potential they're all doing big big jobs now so also i think like maybe 20 i think if you go back say 40 years Ooh, it's a night there was like yeah yeah night stage. if you take you got queen at queen, yeah, queen that's me so I'm, I'm surprised you didn't go night it's going queen h3 i guess so double check because you get double whammy there yeah and if you take i go queen g4 and queen h3 and then i'm yeah. forced mate so next move is, is mate line. you didn't take it so stopped queen h3 now but I'd say that, you, you, do you want to, how many checks has he got? Because he hasn't got any, has he? Because otherwise, knight e3 and queen takes h3 is just. Queen. I would go c takes d4 because you're threatening queen b5 check already. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, knight takes d4 is also good. d7, though. See, I was worried about this. This is why I didn't do it. Bishop d, oh, but now your king's screwed because you've got bishop b5 as well. So you've got to yeah, go c- You can't. You've got, you got to go c4. You got to see screwed now. No, I think white's in big trouble. White's busted here. I think white's yeah, busted. busted here. I don't know how you stop anything. Like, Bishop... I say you got to go C4, I guess, to stop Bishop B5. But then you've got Queen... I'd go Knight E3 and Queen H3, I guess, is coming. But, yeah, C4. But then it still hasn't got two... Knight takes F3 is good. Bishop C6 is good. Like, any move is good here. Like... Yeah. yeah. It's difficult. Yeah, Knight E3 is good, yeah. Yeah, Knight E3. And then... No, it's probably knight h2 and queen d3 check or something like that. Queen d3 and knight, queen d3 and knight h2 is mate. He can't stop it. He can't stop it either. There's no matter where you go, there's a knight check and followed by a queen check. No matter where you go, you've got to take the knight. But you've lost anyway. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Stop a knight check. Yes, force mate. So you have to, yeah, have to take the knight, but you can't now stop the next one. It's queen a3 and followed by queen f. Yeah, it's 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 game. Yeah, it's game. Yeah, it's it's an impressive game. You have to go rook h2 there. Yeah, yeah, I think he was busted. Oh, oh it's a big clash again. Oh, but Schizophrenia just powered into the lead. 57 points. Yeah, how did that? So while we were watching that game, Queens and Dragons lost a few, and they've just, he's just won like all those games in well, a row. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the scores. Yeah, yeah, because what he's been doing is preserving. Has he got any? And, 
Sorry? He didn't berserk the last game. Has he got any checks in this last in this next game? So I want to see this game because it's a big clash up. Yeah, the but one. I still I think even if he loses it, he's a big favourite. He's just, he's yeah, just... But let's just have a look. Has he berserk? no checks have happened, yeah? I don't think so. They're very, very good with their strategy. Okay, so let's, let's have a look. What are we going to do? How are we going to get? So I would like to take on B7 at the right time, but not quite yet. Cause yeah. Been yeah. So maybe they want to go A takes B4. A takes B4 here, and then yeah. look A7 becomes a possibility. And then Queen A1, and Queen takes A7. Done. Or whatever. Queen takes up there. Yeah, That's yeah. Rook Start A7. with Bishop C6. Yeah, and then now Rook A7. Oh, 95, 95 would be very strong. Yeah, he's found it. 95, and now Rook A7. Knight yeah. takes D6. Rook A7 wins on the spot. No, B takes. Rook A7's game. Rook yeah, A7's game, yeah. Followed by that mate. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. I think you had to take the pawn. Rook A7, you've got Queen A7. It's still Queen F3 then. Queen F3, threatening Queen C6. Yeah. It was very simple. We just literally, that was, that was basic chess again by removing the defender. Because you want the king to take on a7, so all he did was play removing the defender tactics. That was it. I like, think I think we're already probably better than the second best player in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> so you think only schizophrenia could beat us? I don't even think schizophrenia could beat us now. Challenge him after the game, maybe after the after the tournament, we can invite him on and we can challenge him to. Actually, he's a fourteen-year-old, so he's like he's obviously very no, talented. It's like, it's like that Canadian kid. They're, they're very no. talented. Queen eating dragons fourteen. I don't think schizophrenia is fourteen. Let's oh, get... Queen eating dragons fourteen. Queen eating Queen eating dragon is a very good player. Yeah, very talented. Like fourteen year you're old. Can you imagine like fourteen? Fourteen. I was playing with train sets and like dolls and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> train sets. Playing with teddy bears. I was playing with, and peeing my bed. I was peeing my bed and playing with teddy bears. At the age of fourteen. Nah, nah, probably a little bit younger. Yeah. 14, I'd grow it out. Yeah. So, like 30 and a half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Schizophrenia is just romping, like, unbelievable. This is just. It has lost a few games. Lost, he's already lost four games. He's still, still romping the tournament, which just goes to show that if you berserk, yeah, it gives berserk you a big edge. Strong. So I, think that, I think the right strategy in this tournament, I think Queen Eat Dragon. If I had to give him a piece of advice, the so next time they play, just berserk every game. Well, we've seen that, but that's not interesting. We've looked at some of the results, and some people have never berserked and still managed to win. It all depends, though. I guess if you play more actively, yeah. then that's fine. But you're going to play, you're going to, in an arena, you're going to get more games in because you're berserking, because the games end quicker. So if you're all on yeah, top, yeah, exactly. Which is that's that, strategy. I, I would argue I don't think they should allow berserking. I don't think they should allow berserking at all. I also think your score should be. Your score, you shouldn't get more points for winning games. I I should, no, I think, logic. no, I think Sorry. it's a good, I think it's an extra added element to the whole thing. Like, like in, I think it adds an extra excitement. But I think if you'll be completely objective, why let's say, let's say, for example, I play three games, I win the first <laughs> one, I lose the second one, and I win the third, and yet I get more points if I win the first two and lose the third. Now, I've, I've got the same amount of points. Yeah. Why should I should I get less points overall? It doesn't make any sense. Same as in football. You get three for a win, one for a draw. Same yeah, but I've won the same amount of games, Sabrina. I've won the same okay. amount of games. I think it's a similar process to backgammon. You've got the doubling cube in backgammon. It like yeah. adds, that ele adds, that, adds that extra element of strategy. So when you get to a position and you can like double it, it, it yeah, I agree. Yeah, I suppose. I suppppose if you know that you've won the last game, you go more all out for the win in the next game because you're going to get yeah. more points. But I, I, I'm someone that's, that's really slow. I, I would want the extra time. So mm. for me, no benefit of berserk. And actually, for people who are really quick, it's great. But but then obviously, you know what I don't understand when people have one minute games and they berserk there where you get another thirty seconds. I literally, they are so fast. These people, I can't play with the thirty seconds on my clock. That's insane. Honestly, that's too quick. I think but, they're ridiculously quick. Some of these, but I, I think they're even using engines or they've got no, super mouths. Because we, um, because Simon Williams is a challenge us to do that, and like he challenged me to do thirty seconds all the time against him. But it would be like you give loads and loads of odds, so you go like queen and rook odds or something. But I only have thirty seconds. But oh, right. he wouldn't like it because I was actually physically quick enough to move with queen and rook. Yeah. I'm okay with that many odds, I can blunder a load of pieces and still be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a computer, I can't do it. It's a difference. People are different. Like I think, like, I think on a computer, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do it. Some of these people. I mean, uh, this guy Chess in Spain. I don't know if you heard of him. 
And he, he, uh, you know, he's a German guy, he's quite famous on YouTube. Right. Just, just explain, right? Uh, yeah. And he was saying uh, he played this guy called Andrew Tang, who's GM Penguin. I know him, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's incredibly good at one minute and he's, he's, he's like, he's, he's, he gives Magnus a good game and everything, right? He's, yeah, he's I mean, I, Magnus a few times. He, I played him when he was about 14, I think. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah. Like, he's very, very fast at one minute. And he, he, and, and this guy, Chessie Plain, said that he kind of switched off because he had, like, this massive material advantage. And this guy was down to one second. And he literally played about 80 moves in one <laughs> second. <laughs> it's like... He just couldn't believe it. He just it was possible. And he <laughs> lost the game because he switched off. He just thought, no, I've won this game, right? Did he pick a premium every move and not lose any time, I guess? Well, that, that must have been it. But the thing is, I, I think you've got to be so driven to do that because I just wouldn't be bothered enough to actually physically make those moves, you know? It's also massively intuitive because pre-moving, you're assuming that they're going to play. So actually... Well, that's why I actually use... When people start doing stuff like that, you actually... I know, but I know that guy is kind of freakishly quick, but I think when people start doing like that, you start to become suspicious. No, but I feel like, again, that, uh, for me, adds another layer of strategy. So if yeah. I'm playing someone with only one second left and they're clearly pre-moving, I'd play yeah. a move they won't expect because they're pre-moving something stupid. Yeah, yeah. What you're going to do is it's, just, it's, it's another element of strategy to the game, in my opinion. So I think it is good in that sense. So, that okay, so that's, that's I think. I think it's good. It adds another layer of, of oh, he's so schizophrenia again against Queen Eater Dragon. This matchup again, and he's berserked again. So I think yeah, it's unbelievable. But you know, thirty point lead. He's always got double points as everybody else in the tournament. He's allowing the position. So Bishop B five, two Bishop B five, Knight C six is probably okay in Sicilian. Yeah. Now I'm right way. here. I'm right here. I would go Queen G four at some point. Queen G seven. I've got all these decks on against Queen G eight and stuff. Bishop E. Oh, it's close. Knight D six. Knight D six check. Knight D six check. Maybe. Yeah, Bishop E three is also. Queen D six. Queen D six. Game over. It's, it's already yeah. the end of the game. Six done. That was so bad. That oh was terrible. God. Yeah, but King F eight is a losing blood. Though. If you look at the game, you've got to take the knight. You have to take the knight, right? Probably. Yeah. Or you can, King F eight was certainly the worst move. So after Bishop B three, Queen B six. Queen B six is a bad move because you're allowing all the moves yet. But no. seven. Why not take the knight? I mean, I don't understand. I mean, we, King F8 is in this Take the knight, and he's worried about he wants a check on E3, but it doesn't matter. You are piece up, and you've saved all the other checks. One check. Yeah, let's say if I took, and, and then he went by B5, well, you've got checks of your own. You could go like Bishop F2. Okay. Actually, it's already made. It's already made. Yeah. Queen A5 check. Or queen, or queen B6 and take it anyway. You've got this made. Here I go. I go. I go here. Yeah, and then uh, bishop f two, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, So actually, you can't, you can't go knight b five. You've got to take the, the bishop. But it's just a game. Then why is that one check? But blacks are piece up. So it's about a fair, fair trade. And it says, look, it says equal. That's exactly what we're saying. A piece is about a worth a check. We're saying yeah. roughly. But because roughly because similar. because black is a piece. Up, it's going to be harder for white to get the next check in, if that right. makes sense. And black white's king's open, so more chance of getting a check in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think actually, in it, to be honest, in this position, even there, I'd rather be black. I think he's yeah. only a piece up. It's much easier to be black. Like again, yeah. okay, if you're playing like a real expert and it's like schizophrenia, you might be in trouble. But I guess most people, I think you'd win every time with black. So you've got to play like knight f six to stop queen h five, for example, though. So you've got to be a little bit careful because yeah. you probably played bishop c4, knight d5, open up the position like that, and then you don't. You got to be careful in that sense because I'd play, I'd play that if I was white. I played bishop c4, knight c, knight d5, or something, and then you know put your pieces on axis squares again, blow it open, so you only need two more checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. But like I say, but, but maybe a lot of people wouldn't yeah, because bishop c4, you've got maybe ideas did bishop e6. And if you go d takes, I've got a check on the d file in pocket, right? But it's only one check, so it's not. It's still not going to be enough to win the game. If I start giving away my queen, it might do much. No, I'm not giving away my queen yet. So I wanted to go bishop c4 um, right. at some point, and then just go yeah. knight five because if it take take, you're taking an f7, and then there's a check. That's what I meant. Like, you know, just blow it open or knight d5. If you don't take, you've got knight f6, knight c7, and you've got another check, and then you can play bishop takes e6 
followed by Queen in. That's what I meant. What's what the name of the guy, uh, Atomic? Seven. The guy who won the Atomic was called Hysterics. Daniel Essen was his real name. So, you know, I said that was the greatest uh, sporting performance of all time. Yeah. I've changed my mind. <laughs> it's now this. This, I, I, this is the greatest sport. Because schizophrenia lost a bunch of games. He's lost four games already. No, um, exactly. I don't think he compares to Hysterics. Hysterics, yeah. historic. Hysterics, historic performance. <laughs> it, it was, it was. And he was hysterical as well to watch him like, beat everyone. <laughs> so I've, already got, I've already got two checks here. I can go 9C2 in this game. Uh, oh, wow, he's, he's lining something big up. Like 9C2, Queen F2, it's going to be it's, it's a huge threat. Done. Maybe you should go King, go King. F4 I might play. F4, yeah, F4 is a good one. But you're still going to knight F3 and bishop F2? Or knight D2 and queen D4, friendly queen F2. He'll go queen I'm D4 and F3. Bishop F2 and then queen D4, done. Bishop F2, quick check, then queen D4. Yeah, but bishop F2, you can go D1. Right, but then you still go somewhere. You've only got one check left. Queen D, queen D4, friends. Yeah, this yeah. is the end of the game. Or you could so knight E2 you have to play. But he could have taken on G4. the end of the game. Yeah, done. He could have taken on G one. Um, if you look at that game, if you look at that game towards the end, what? How would you find a god queen king D one instead? But after Bishop takes F two, right? I've yeah. been already in big trouble because it's like oh, but king D one. Yeah. I was thinking. I would go. So I'd just go queen H, queen H six or something, or queen D four again. Queen H six, queen D four. Queen D four, Frank and May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the end of the game. Yeah, yeah. You have to go here, and then and then I can take, and then queen G one. And if you yeah. go here. Got Queen G1 anyway, yeah. exactly. Yeah, anything yeah. that's active because you've got only one check, you can sack anything for it. So it's like I think it's just too, yeah, it's too passive. Yeah, yeah. So I think this guy has really got these things out. I mean, I think he needs a new check, he needs somebody to, to, to step up. Three check chess, it must be pretty. So apparently, in three check chess, he is ranked 32 yeah. in the world. I, I, I think the guy, I bet, I bet the, the, the top 31 are all engines. Did you know that he was 2441 at some point? You mean over over the board chess? No, in terms of at three check chess. In, um, <laughs> it's a thing he's very good at bullet. Bullet is 2581 at bullet. He was 2600. I'm, I'm, I'm only about 25, uh, 20, 2600 uh, bullet myself. Yeah, so he's, he's strong. And he's a good player, so he's just a good player, full stop, yeah. You don't know what his rating is. He might not have claimed a rating. You don't have your rating. You don't have your title. I mean, you don't no, have he title. could be a title player. He could be a title player, yeah. He's a title player at 2,500 at Blitz. I mean, he must Yeah, be I don't have my name on my account. I don't have my GM title on my account. Yeah, so no, that's his own. He's Russian as well, so he's probably quite good. <laughs> I'm good Russian. Good Russian. Even Russian taxi drivers are 2550. I just assume that all Russians are good at chess, basically. All Russian, all Russian. In Russia, we have a winter that lasts for years. Okay, I'm not even going to comment on how, how ridiculous that is. <laughs> Let's look let's, at. Let's see. Let's see. We, I think we've been looking at the same okay. players. Let's, let's yeah. look at some other players, right? What about Nugster? We haven't. Is Nugster named after Steve Davis, the Nugget? <laughs> Maybe it's Steve Davis. He plays chess. Steve Davis is like a key. He used to be uh, the president of the uh, British Chess yeah, Federation. No. What if it is Steve Davis playing? I think it is. I think it's a Nugget, yeah. It's a In nugget. Fact, if it's really boring chess, it probably is him. Should we message him and say, look, hello, Steve. Is this Steve interesting Davis? Steve Interesting. <laughs> that was his nickname, Steve Interesting. You know, you know why they called him the Nugget? Do you know why they called him the Nugget? The only reason I know this is because I looked up his Wikipedia page earlier. You know why they called him the Nugget? All uh, right, why? Well, because Barry Hearn used to take him around the country and he played like money games. And he said it was something to do with every time he played, he could bet his, uh, his all his money on him and he, he would always uh, collect. So it was like a Nugget. You know, he was like, he was guaranteed or something like this. I don't know. It's what he said. He, before he became like world champion. There's it was like, because he was he was always so boring coming up with all this stuff, you'd get nuggets of wisdom from him all the oh, time. Oh, nuggets, yeah, yeah like, like, like anecdotes, yeah. Either that, he was obsessed with McDonald's and he's like, chuck nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
you know that final? I was watching that earlier. The final between um, Dennis Taylor and Steve Davis. The very, very famous one. You know that Dennis Taylor was eight nil down in that match. Yeah, I know. So it's a really famous final. I remember that. Yeah, it was eight nil down. It was eighteen point five million people watched the final. Yeah. It's almost the same amount of people as watching this arena. Uh, I think almost, almost. But. <laughs> But he said, he said, Dennis says, if, if I do that with that many people watching it, I, I just wouldn't have been able to play. I wouldn't have been able to lift my cue because it's so. It's six minutes left, Danny. Come on, let's see what. Uh... Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm going on off on another tangent. Bloody hell. Schizophrenia has more than twice the number of points than anyone that, else. It's unbelievable. That's the most insane performance I've ever seen. Let's check out Asta Bakra and Night of Spring because they're both two regular. Chess players too that are in these tournaments and they're doing. We've had, a, we've had a few checks since we've had a queen yeah. c fours come in. So I think I think Black's favourite in this. Oh, uh, uh, White's already got a check in with two e four earlier in the yeah, game. A couple each, one each or two. I would go e six. I would go b six, but yeah, a six you have to play. A five, b five, would be five, and then rook a five, and then well now I think Black's in trouble now. B six, what's going on? Not a six and rook c eight is mate. C eight, yeah, exactly. The game. Yeah, here we go, it's done. It's game over. Yeah, no, yeah, we saw that. So one. easy. <laughs> so easy. It's, it's easy. We never won. We're hanging this now. We're, we're really good at this now. <laughs> I think we're going to be. Uh, yeah, we should have entered the tournament and uh, and uh, beat number one. I think we should have a game. I think yeah, we should have a game. Really well in the blitz yesterday. Let's look at him. The Who's killer. This? That Il Sicario, if you scroll down. Yeah. Oh, this guy. This guy, right. Yeah. Il Sicario, yeah. He won in the Blitz yesterday. So he's a good player. He's, got he's won in like five minutes. That's it's unbelievable. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's terrible. That's what terrible. Is, that's actually suicide. That's just shocking. Yes. That's, that's, your just first shocking. Possible, that's probably what you play. That's probably the yeah. Because I think I think in this type of chess, when they go bishop c four, you've got to protect your king. So you've got to go like e six. You think that five moves is probably the quickest you could actually win the game, or four moves is probably the quickest you can win the game. So that's probably got to... but that's probably almost the worst possible. <laughs> play. I think four moves is the lowest. Is but just to give you an example, right? How, how can I make moves? How can I make moves? But like. I can't think to make moves. Uh, let me let me see. Um, study. I can just study. No, oh, no just hang on, no, 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 because no, I'm not I'm not logged in. Play the move, Danny. It plays the move. You're just trying to click things. Just play. So you're playing the wrong move. It's just click e4 and play a different move. So I go e4. I want to go e. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So I go knight f3. So so just to give you an example, right? In this line, I d6. Knight takes f7. It's, 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 it is a move though, in a normal in a normal position. It's not very good. Not it has been played by strong players, right? C4 and Queen H5 wins on the spot. Yeah, that's what I mean. In it, but in this club, just just wins by force because Bishop C4, and then you know yeah, you're going to have like. I mean, oh, okay, you actually here you can go kind of survive. Let's go Queen H5 first, Danny. Queen oh, H Queen H five kills you, right, right, right. My first one. No, but uh, bear in mind you've only had what you had. You've had no checks so far. No, you've had one. Oh, you've had no checks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so so Bishop C four must be still winning. The Bishop, but this would be a normal position in normal chess, right? Okay, in, in normal chess, the, the best move is Knight C three. But even if you went Knight C three here, you'd have a huge advantage in free check chess because the Black King is so open. But let, let's say you went bishop c4 and they went king e7, so you've got two checks in already. I go knight c3, threatening knight d5 check, so okay. then I'd have two checks. And then the king has to go to a white square, and you've got a second check, so it's just winning. Oh. It's winning on the spot. So let's say you went here. You'd play knight I could... d5. Just, I'd, play, I'd, play, I'd play knight d5 and then just play, takes it, and then do threatening queen e2. Take it. Five. No, take oh, no, yeah, take it. Yeah, take it for threatens mate. And then you've got to go to a light square and you're winning on the bishop anyway. He's waiting, mate. Bishop b5 check is mate, right? Everything's mate. So if you go here, I can go queen e2 or queen h5 and it's going to be mate very, yeah. very quickly. Yeah. Anything's mate, yeah. Anything. That's what I'm saying. So this variation, which is actually playable in normal chess, albeit dubious, is, is just probably winning by force in this type of chess. 
Let's look at the last game because I think we might be running out of time now. So yeah, finishing. yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. We're, we're finishing in about two minutes, I think. And this um, is an unbelievable performance by. Let's let's have a little look at Nugster versus Queen. Third place. There's four, there's four people on on fifty points. So third. Yeah. So the, the, medal the race for second four. place is huge, right? And what, second place has got someone who's already ahead, but third place there's. Four people, and there's one more behind that, so anyone could get it. Queenies and Dragon almost deserves it, I feel like, because they beat they beat schizophrenia. No one else. Yeah, is- yeah, I think Queenie Dragon is actually the second best player this tournament, but it's, okay. I don't think they're going to finish second. So how many how many checks have they got? Do we know? Do have a look? Scroll back through. Let's have a little look. Uh, I don't think many. I don't think any. I don't think any. There's going to be no, no checks so far. That's so bizarre. <laughs> That's weird, yeah. I think this could end up... Can you game. get a draw? Can you get a draw in this type of test? You, uh, yeah. you, can, right? you can offer a draw. You can repeat. I'm sure it's the same thing. So, rookie... Can that be the draw? Hmm. And then, but now they're putting Bishop G7 and... C, okay. So, Bishop E5? No, Rook D2. Rook D2. And Rook C3? Uh, yeah, Rook C3 is a good move, yeah. Yeah, I have yeah, to... I, I, I go back, back, yeah. Now take now, on D seven. Now take. Yeah, because it's probably not worth giving it the bishop, is it? Yeah, it's not worth probably giving it the bishop yet. Now because, just go back bishop E five at some point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you might want to try. Yeah, because you can't win the ending with really. it. But I don't think I don't think this is going to be enough to win. Yeah, it might end up being a draw. It might can see an actual draw here. I would go. I would go F four at some point just to shut that bishop in on. on <laughs> No one moved any pieces. Yeah, exactly. Now Bishop Bishop D eight though. But also I think, you know, I'm not being funny, Sabrina. I think these players are tired because it's quite a long it's quite a tiring to play this type of guess. You know, like they're probably tired. It's it's already been going for what, like 40, 50 minutes or whatever. I don't mean yeah, I mean but Nugs is gonna win on time. Nugs is good. Well, that's already losing, like, H7. This is end of the game. Yeah, end of the game, right. So, I think the tournament's finished. Ah, oh, poor Queen Eating Dragon. Oh. So, oh, so beat the Dennis. Out. Beat Dennis came second. Came and Queen Eating Dragon. Beat Dennis. Queen Eating Dragon came sixth in the end. Didn't come in the top, look, top five. Look at that um, scoring, though, with a um, 96% berserk rate. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Because actually the raid performance got hurt by the berserking so often. Yeah. That but, is actually insane. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, schizophrenia. That's probably one of the best. Yeah, that's amazing. That's not quite hysteric performance, but that's pretty impressive. Now, this guy, I believe, um, yeah. we looked at the rankings yesterday. I'm going to show them. I show them on the screen. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, yesterday. Look, if we look at look at this, um, these are the live chess standings for the um, the actual like Olympiad medals for the overall chess chess scores. So yes. this guy is KPS KPSTWTTW. I think his name is. Yeah, yeah. So this guy is winning that, um, and and I think I think Dmitry Tatarinov is. Mm. And if yeah, he yeah. that insane win might have just almost picked him to gold medal. We don't know. Do you see what I mean? Because he's got to get five pentamine scores and he's going to replace this 90 with a 96 or whatever. So what you're saying is he's going to leapfrog his Marcel Bresky. He might do with that performance. We're gonna I don't know how all these calculations work, but it it could be a serious <laughs> Was that- is that a final? Is that a final event? No, no. There, uh, there are other events um, coming up. Um, was that guy who kept stuffing me? I had some some blitz tournament the other day, and, and some guy kept like berserking. I got so annoyed. I, I said to me on Twitter, I said I'm never going to play in these berserk. It takes like two and a half minutes. Like they can't beat me anywhere. Like some sort of fish. <laughs> I am. Um, I don't know. But, um, I looking at the timetable here. Um, I'm just gonna show you the, the what's coming mm. up, coming um, forward. So, oh, that right. is the um, 
the rest of the tournament. So we've got three ch- chests just happened, but we've got a chess two yeah. minute bullet arena here. And oh no, that's no, this is the three check chest. I am a behind. Wow, it's already the 21st today. Where is this month gone? Wow, okay. I know. So, well, where is this year gone? Because already it's nearly, uh, it's nearly okay. September. So, one minute bullet Swiss is tomorrow night, so you could play that. Um, and yeah. then we have what other chess? We've got anti chess. Anti chess is coming up on the 23rd, which is Sunday. So that's giveaway. That's the giveaway chess. Oh, um, yeah. And then we've got another one minute bullet chess arena. So that's three more tournaments, I believe. And I believe then that's it for chess. So that is it. So they've got three mm. more tournaments, but um, with three more events to go, I believe that it is still all to play for with this sort of uh, this this table here. And it could be crazy finish, but I'm so impressed with um, with schizophrenia and his <laughs> his absolutely insane um, performance there. That was, I mean, twenty one sixty nine though. Do you think that's uh, that's accurate? I think feel like he he got way but more than no, that. No, because I think that these ratings are deflated. I mean, I don't think. I I mean, he just had to rate comparative ratings but i think that these players are stronger than 97 although he lost the last two games but it didn't matter he didn't go over 100 but but you know no, but i think he's much he's I'm like 85 80 at one minute i mean the guy's much stronger than 2100 97 oh. is the score and and um, the next mm. person got the last game wasn't even close. He probably could have lost for the next half hour <laughs> still been okay yeah, it's, it's not it's a nice feeling actually when you when you win a tournament, we so just relax at the end yeah. and just and just mess yeah. around. Probably could start then, um, you know, and experiencing with stuff, and it because it's nice, easy. you know, you know, like Sabrina, it's nice, you know, like Keith Arthur, our good friend Keith Arthur. He's always going on about. Occasionally, he'll mention that he's won a tournament on Facebook. Very rarely, very rarely, you know, like, <laughs> and there'll be like five hundred likes, and and he's, but he's it's true what he says. Sorry. He's a popular guy. <laughs> He's a very, especially in his own mind. No, no I'm only kidding. If you're watching Keith, you're a lovely guy. But the point <laughs> is that what he says is true, is that, you know, it's nice to win tournaments, you know, because you can't. I remember I went for a period when I was playing uh, in normal tournaments, and I hadn't won a tournament for about two, two or three years. I mean, I, I didn't play that many. But it started to bug me, and I played this tournament. I was playing Andy Horton in the background four or five, and I was really, really nervous. I thought, I suddenly realised there's a great chance to win a tournament. I was really, and I blundered, because I was so nervous, you know, and I was thinking, I'm a GM, and I'm really struggling to get over the line in any tournament. This is ridiculous. And fortunately, I managed to win that game, and then what happened was in the last round, I was due to play Vakidov. You know Vakidov? I don't think I do. He's about 25, 60, 25, 70, he's done, and he came up to me before the game, and said, like, do you want to have a quick draw? Because if we have a quick draw, we can win the tournament. And literally, it was the most relieved I ever felt in my life. But I was so relieved. I suddenly got over the line again in another tournament. And after that, I never looked back. <laughs> Thank I mean, you. I mean, that's a pathetic way to win a tournament, to agree a quick draw. But it's just because I hadn't won a tournament for so long. So hey. people take granted. You know, you win a tournament and you take it for granted. But it's not easy to win tournaments. Do you yeah, know what I mean? I- I agree. People choke at the last round as well. It, people, it's been, it's, it's true. It's very difficult to like, win a tournament. I agree with that. But looking yeah. at this results here again, um, like, I think it's just really crazy. So it's, um, it, like, it's, if you look at these, these, these stats of these guys, it's, yeah, twenty one sixty nine clearly performed the highest, but the berserk rate is what's crazy. So it's ninety six percent, and it shows you that his run that he had with all those, you know, in a row, getting fives and fives and fives and fives, really just basically pushed him. Yeah, in. I, th- I think if you're good enough to berserk, I think if you feel that you should get away with it, obviously it's optimal strategy to berserk because you're getting more points and you're playing yeah. more games, right? You're what speeding up the game, so therefore you're playing more games anyway. So if you're one of the top seeds and you're quick, it's a no-brainer to berserk, really. So yeah, I mean, it. let's say you're let's say you're twenty twenty two hundred rating, and you're playing someone who's sixteen hundred rating. 
if you don't visit there, you've made a mistake because yeah, you you're going to be you're going to be. Big. I wouldn't do it actually. The one minute, like if I'm playing one minute tour, uh, let's say my one minute tour was about twenty five hundred, and I'm playing a two thousand, I probably won't visit because I don't think I'll be quick enough to make it. Yeah, that's true. Seconds. You've got to assume, but three chess, chess I think, is a little bit different because the game should be shorter. You're yeah, actually, like, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's very easy to beat someone in three chess. Well, um, you say that a lot of these went on to like play normally, like to a whole mate. You know, so it was like yeah, was, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed, but it's like yeah, you, you could then, win a game very, very quickly. You could, you know? but if you defend very well, then you could be playing a normal game of chess, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. I mean, I don't know. Like, but if you get if you're berserking, I think there's a big difference. If you're berserking from one minute down to thirty seconds, or if you're berserking from two minutes down to one minute, that's a big difference. Because one minute compared to two minutes, to me, is not that much difference. Whereas, yeah. but thirty seconds compared to one minute is a yeah. difference. Thirty seconds yeah. got no time at all. Yeah, you've got to make them and as well. Like by the time you actually get to a winning position, you've got like four seconds or something silly. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, no. You can't even convert the win. So it's, I mean, I've played the top player. I've, I've played people like Nakamura and one minute. And you literally, you play as quick as you can. And you look at the clock and you've got, I've used about 40 seconds and he's used about 10 seconds. I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm, I'm completely screwed. <laughs> you know, it's that's, like, yeah. That's the thing with the they're just too good, I think. Some they're just so, too fast and they're just too I'm, good. Yeah, I'm impressed. Schizophrenia had a phenomenal tournament. Uh, there it is again, just to show his overwhelming response. Uh, incredible. Um, and it means that he's probably going to be winning the well, may, maybe in this overall ch live chess standing, we maybe have picked. Um, the Polish guy at number one. We'll see. But there's three more chess games left we, we saw um, coming. So we'll check them out. Bullet tomorrow night. What was, that guy, what was that guy's name? That's schizophrenia. Can you tell me his name? I'll, I'll look him up on feed. I don't know. I'm guessing it's him. I'm guessing it's him. I think it's Dmitry Tatarinov. How do you spell his surname? You can have a look at the screen. It's P A R I N. Tatar, really? You know Tartar. That is a very Russian name because Tartars are Russians. Tartakova. He isn't Russian, though, is he? Have you known the Tartars were famous Russians, right? Yeah, no. yeah. Vlad Vladimir. No, hang on. Is it Dmitri? Which was his first name? Yeah, D M I. Dmitri. Dmitri Tartatinov. Yeah, yeah. His FIDE rating. I'm looking it up now. He's twenty three twenty. Yeah, so I thought it'd be a FIDE, so it's a FIDE master. So, okay, so a new yeah. league of some kind. So, I mean, Russian, he might be young. We don't know. He might be a young F, uh, Russian FM. Who's this? Who's this? We don't know. We don't know how old he is, do we? Oh, no, no. He's, he was born in 96, yeah. Oh, so there you go. So he's, what, he's 23 or something. He's 24, 23, 24, 23, yeah. So, so, I mean, he's probably reasonably talented. And, you know, so that's why he's 2600 on com at Bullet. So, and it's Bullet tomorrow. One minute Bullet Chess. So, let's see how it goes. Yeah. All for, um, but we'll be back tomorrow with some commentary tomorrow night on that. Very, very fast tournament it'll be. <laughs> Danny's waving everyone at you. Uh, but thank you for tuning in to everyone who tuned in. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, Queen Eats and Dragon. So I've just seen you say hi to us on Twitch. So hi and hi. congratulations. And we are very sad to see that you didn't actually win a medal because we were saying you totally deserve it. Oh, um, ask him if they're a boy or a girl. Ask him if they're a boy or a girl. <laughs> I don't know if I'll apply that quickly, but Queen Eats and Dragon, we'd like to know if you're a boy or a girl. And are you a dragon who eats queens or are you a queen who eats dragons? Because it is. So, first of all, they said boy, so I'm correct. I said boy. Yeah, correct, yeah. And I think you're a dragon who eats queen. So, I'm hoping they'll apply quick enough and confirm that too, so I get two out of two against you, Danny. <laughs> yeah, dragon, yeah, yeah. I am correct. Wow, wow. <laughs> That's amazing. So, so there you are go. You, are you a fan of Game of Thrones? Let me guess. Are you a fan no. of Game of Thrones? Uh, don't spoil anything because I've not watched it yet, and that's one of my things I want. No, to no, but I mean, it's, it's not spoiling it. I mean, I just want to know: are they are they a fan of Game of Thrones? Right? Maybe I don't know. We'll find I mean, out. They're, they're bound to be. They're bound to be a fan of Queen Daenerys. Is that what it is? Yeah, ask them. Yeah, ask them if they're fans. No, we but, are. We'll apply. No, no. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I can't get anything right. I can't get anything right. I'm just kidding. 
I could read people by their username. But I want to say a big well done to Queen Eating Dragon because you're the only person I think who actually beat Katrina and played really, really well. So yeah, you deserve to finish in the medals, I think. Yeah, we thought you'd get a medal. Um, so unlucky. Um, but hopefully we'll see you in some more chess. We've got other ones coming up and so Best of luck, but we're going to say bye to everyone now. And thank you for tuning in and see you tomorrow night. Bye, everyone. Bye.